Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today at the Frazee City office with Matt Davis from the North Country Trail Association. Morning, Matt. Good morning, Hank. How are you? I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Uh, you know, I, I heard that spring was coming, but they just didn't say what year. Yeah, hopefully it'll make its appearance around here pretty soon because uh, this is starting to get old. Yes. And, uh, of course, with the North Country... You know, the 4,600-mile trail had gained quite a bit last year, and I know that uh, there's going to be some stuff coming up here the end of May. Yeah, we're actually uh, taking this opportunity to do a grand opening. You know, normally we build the trail, and then we kind of move on to our other project, but this time we're going to kind of stop and take a little break and actually celebrate the fact that we had this bountiful year building about 21 new miles of trail in 2012. So on Saturday, May 1st, or excuse me, Saturday, June 1st, um, which is National Trails Day, we're going to have a grand opening up at Tamarack National Wildlife Refuge. Well, and that's going to be quite a time because you've got stuff starting, according to my uh, itinerary, at 8 o'clock. Yeah, at 8 o'clock we're going to have uh, the trek across Tamarack, which is going to be a 14-and-a-half-mile through hike across the refuge. But don't worry, if you can't hike 14-and-a-half miles, that's not your only option. We've got a, a a whole full day of uh, shorter hikes, some theme hikes, birding, wildflowers, photography, so a little bit of everything, and, and even some uh, family hikes. And a history hike. And a history hike, yep. We're going to learn a little bit about some of the history along Tamarack Lake uh, and, in, and the entire Tamarack Refuge area. Well, and I see, you know, we've got a, a ribbon-cutting ceremony, too, at, at 10 a.m., and uh, that's uh, going to be... Uh, up in the refuge, and it's uh, going to be, uh, where is it going to be out there? Meet at the, the Trail Day headquarters. Yeah, the Trail Day headquarters, which is the Pine Lake boat launch. So you head up north on 29, and it'll be off on the right. Uh, there'll be plenty of signs guiding you towards uh, our, our uh, headquarters for the event. So uh, you can't miss it. Okay, well, that's great. You know, and then, of course, the night before, we have Stan Tickela here with a program on wolves, fox, and coyotes at the Frazee uh, High School Gymnasium. Yep, at 7 o'clock. We're pretty fortunate to have Stan come up from the Twin Cities. He's kind of a noted naturalist and very prolific guidebook uh, editor. Uh, I believe his total is upwards of 180 books that he's authored. So we're very lucky to have his wildlife knowledge and nature knowledge come. And uh, hopefully folks who you know, maybe wouldn't come out for a hiking program, but certainly love nature and love the outdoors and love wildlife would come, and that'll give them an opportunity to learn more about some of the wonderful things they can see up on the North Country Trail within Tamarack, which includes wolves, fox, and coyote. So, <laughs> Well, yeah, and this is going to be an exciting time for us. This is one of our biggest things to happen here in the area for the trail system. And so we need people like you to come on out, you know, and if you, if you don't feel like hiking but are interested in the program, come to the high school May 31st. And it's a free program, too. It is a free program. You're right. And, of course, everything at Trail Day is also free. Just get your carcass up there. <laughs> Yeah, and there's uh, going to be opportunities for folks to learn more about the North Country Trail. We'll have a table there with a booth of information. And the Friends of Tamarack are going to be there as well. And they're going to have some guidebooks for sale and some nature gifts. So it's really kind of an all-day uh, thing. Bring a picnic lunch. There's not going to be any food available. But uh, we will have a tent. So if it's a less than beautiful spring day, uh, we'll have some shelter. Not in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully... Uh, a month from now, we won't need gloves and winter hats like we probably should be wearing today. <laughs> Thanks for being on the program, Matt. Thank you, Hank. And with that, we'll be right back with Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome to Spotlight on, back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here with Dustin Geyser. Howdy, Dustin. Hello. And Dustin is our summer rec person. Right, I am. Yeah. Do, do all the projects, get all the kids together. Review all the forms, make everything happen. Uh, I, I get a ton of help from the people in the office, but that's the, the gist of it. That sign-up's already started. We started that last week, one day here. And that goes uh, through next Friday, so we need those in by next Friday, which is May 10th, I believe. And um, that's for all kids from starting with T-ball, which starts with five years old, 
up through uh, the older girls softball, which would be my, you know, the senior, or the junior seniors in high school. So we're servicing kids from five to 18 years old with that. And I know that you had quite a few last year. You had over 200, didn't you? Yeah, we had, last year we had over 200 kids, and I believe there were 13 different teams that we had, numbers just off the top of my head. Um, amongst those 13 different teams, we had, was it, I think, 11 different hired coaches. Some coached multiple teams, plus numerous volunteer coaches. We also had um, uh, the, the amount of umpires. You wouldn't believe that. That's, that's one of the parts of my job that I get most impressed with at the end of the summer is the amount of people that we have umpire these games because that fluctuates so much more. Your coaches are consistent, but your umps are always changing. We had it was 20-some different people umpire games last summer. Um, just really, really great turnout last year. And, and, and I'm hoping, thinking, I expect kind of the same numbers this year. That's what I hope. Uh, if, if Mother Nature ever cooperates and lets us get this season started. so. Well, it's, it's a great pr program for your kids out there. And, of course, the cost on it is how much this year, Dustin? Uh, it's $20 per kid, and that includes a T-shirt for most kids, unless your team has uniforms and you don't get a T-shirt because you obviously have a uniform. Um, but for, So most kids will get a T-shirt included in their $20, as well as a $60 family max. So... Like I tell parents, these kids, a lot of these kids that are in these little leagues and these softball leagues, they're going to get more than 20 nights of entertainment out of this. Not all of them, but a lot of the leagues will have 20-some nights of entertainment for $20. You're looking at less than a dollar a night. You want to talk affordability, you're not going to beat that price anywhere. Anywhere. And then they can do the sign-up down at the city office. The parents can come in there. Right. We, have, uh, we try to get a hold of parents three different ways. First, a flyer went home with every single kid, um, K through 8th grade, K through ninth grade. Uh, so that was one way. It was, it was put in the kids' hands. It was sent home with them. There is a copy of it on the city office website, so you can just go right online right now. As soon as you hear this, go right online, check that out, fill it out on the city office website, get or print it off, get it in. And then it's been ran in the newspaper last week and this week. So we hope that through those three different outlets that hopefully everybody hears about it at some point. So. Well, it's, it's a great program. To me, I'm very happy to see the kids out. It's, it's important that... You get your children out there and get these things going. It's good for them. It's good for the health. It learns to play with one another besides what they do in school. Right, and that's the thing, too. It, it's, it's an extremely flexible schedule. You talk about getting outside, and we understand that in the summers, families are busy, and they're camping, and they're going on trips, and absolutely, please do that. And I have, I've had some people say, well, I'm going to miss two weeks for this, or I'm going to miss a week for that. Absolutely do that. Still live your life, and the nights that work out for you or the times that work out for you with the programs, um, make it make it the nights you can make it so even if you can't be there every time or you feel like you can't be fully committed it, it's such an inviting program that we welcome any level of commitment that you're willing to get because it is about the kids and you ask me that's that's part of and the American dream that's part of the American summer is getting out on the field playing some ball some sort of ball thanks for being on the program Dustin Thank you. and with that we'll be back next week with spotlight on Frazee